patient session number 10 with patient number 425, Adrian Salazar, recorded by, by Dr. Pistol. Patient has been strapped to a chair and I have two guards waiting outside. So, Mr. Salazar, how are you? Hmm, I'm feeling pretty good, doctor. You know, the occasional I wanted to kill you vibe. Please stop with the death threats. Come on, don't be a killjoy, Drakey. As you can tell, since the patient is also my brother, we have the same voice. How Stella, Drake? She's dead, Adrian. Of course she is. <laughs> Cause she picked a bastard like you. Watch that language, Mr. Salazar. She was meant for me. Only me. And now she's dead. D-E-A-D. Dead. Because of you. You bastard. Relax. Breathe. Relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax. <laughs> I told her a million times. I told her, don't go with Salazar. Don't go with Drake. Goes me. Stay with me. And look where we are now. Two brothers fighting for one girl. A dead girl. She was the most beautiful girl I've ever known. And she's dead because of me. I'm sorry, Adrian. We both loved her to the max. I'm just... No! You didn't love her. <laughs> Get me out of these chains right now. And I'll, you know what? Come here, I'll give you a great big hug. Just to release me from these change. chains. I want to give you a big squeeze. I want to give you a, a big a hug of affection. Come here. That's enough. That's why your psychosis is major schizophrenia and emotional pain and trauma. That's why you're here. Look. Guards. Just put him back to his cell. I don't want to see him. Fine. Fine. If that's what you want. Fine. I'm gone. Bye-bye. Bye, Drake. Drakey baby. Bye. You <laughs> well, that session got a little bit violent. Um, he'll be back to normal in a few days. No chain can hold me, Drake. No chain can hold me. <sighs> Some things never do change. End session.